Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising um, for the weeks of November um, 4th through the 18th, 2017. So I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Uh, let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing uh, to my channel. I ask that you please continue to do so. Also, guys, remember these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Um, for private um, readings, you will always email me, uh, namat76 at gmail.com. And I am stressing, you guys, that I do not have a website. Um, and every now and then I just uh, have a feeling. I don't know if someone uh, could be trying to steal my business. But I just want to put that out there. Uh, just make sure that you're emailing me directly. Um, and I only post on YouTube. I, I don't have a Vimeo or um, any other platform. So um, just always make sure you guys are contacting me. Okay, so the heart of the situation, I have uh, the Emperor. I have the Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, The Lovers, The Moon, and <clears throat> the King of Swords. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So the heart of the situation uh, being the emperor here. There may be some power struggles in your relationship. Um, if you're not in a relationship, then these are just some sort of personal or inner struggle that you could be dealing with. I feel like you're trying to be control of a situation or you're... Um, dealing with someone who is very controlling or dominating um, someone who could be like a father figure someone who's very adamant uh, and um, could be demanding could have a temper problem um, or um, you know a quick temper doesn't have to be but these are like strong Aryan um, qualities and you could also be dealing with an Aries um, but I, I, I'm seeing some sort of um, power struggles. For some of you, that could be in relationships. It's like feeling like maybe you're putting in all the work or doing everything uh, on your own. You're feeling like you have some sort of obligation. Like you, you, you push through to the to the end line. Like you don't give up. You're not a quitter. And so. I'm feeling like you're feeling like this heavy burden or heavy responsibility um, to carry out through whatever issues are going on in your relationship if you're in a relationship. Um, if you're not in a relationship, I'm seeing some of you getting lost in your work. Um, you're hiding behind your work and you're making sure that you're staying busy. You're picking up so many projects. You're trying to balance. There, There is an imbalance between your work life environment. Uh, your job could you could be carrying too many uh, responsibilities for your job uh, or your employer or you yourself are some sort of business owner or CEO um, or entrepreneur and you're just um, having a difficult time faced, uh, faced with a lot of difficult decisions and uh, going back and forth you also could be in some sort of on off again relationship that is starting to break you down it's like this is the last straw uh, I can only carry things so far so I'm feeling like a lot of you are feeling like you're alone in your situation uh, some of you could be dealing also with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Pisces. Um, there could be someone in your life that is very direct. Maybe they have high demands um, or you might have them on some sort of pedestal. Um, and also, this person may have a tendency to manip manipulate or you yourself 
could have these qualities. This could be uh, describing qualities of you uh, and how you're being right now. Um, but yeah, you could be dealing with someone who has a lot of high demands and they're very forward or direct with what they have to say. But I'm feeling like you're doing a lot of contemplating and you're having to take a step back because I feel like you had plans. Like you, you organized something and you want to stick to that plan. But now you're being forced to step outside of that and you're going over your checklist again. You're going over your priorities. You're like, what is most important? Um, if someone has just come into your life, this is like, you're saying, does this person fit in with my, with things that I find valuable in a relationship? Could be family, could be uh, family traditions. I feel like for some of you, family traditions or your family uh, uh, heritage or your um yeah, going back to things of that sort are very important to you. Also, having to do with health-wise, uh, your uh, diet is very important to you. And you're considering something that's like you're having to take a step back and seeing, does this person match the values that you have? The things that you traditionally practice or believe in and I also feel too that there is a sense of waiting like feeling like I have put in so much um, you know am I going to get something in return or when will I see the results of everything all the hard work that I put in so you're having to have some sort of patience for something now remember if this isn't you this could be the person that you're dealing with um, oh, sorry guys, the candle went out. I would put another one in. I don't want to distract you guys though. But, um, yeah, so also at some point you guys may have to make some sort of decision in regards to love. Uh, with the lover's card here, this is showing me that someone has come into your life that is a reflection of you basically so this is someone that you feel like you have um an intellectual bond with or spiritual bond um is is something that's more than physical attraction this is and this is something that was also orchestrated by the universe this is something that was supposed to happen um this is temptation uh you are being tempted and you are being enlightened. You're inflamed with some sort of desires by someone who has entered your life. Um, so this goes either if it doesn't matter if you're single or in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you're going to be challenged to make a decision I feel like this person like like I said you had a plan like you were sticking to a plan you're like I'm gonna do this with that person uh, we're building this together we're gonna move here um, we want this many children like you have already discussed you have mapped out everything and then this person comes into your life and kind of throws you a curveball so now it's like okay I wasn't expecting that um, you know, do I stay with the person that I'm currently with or do I, uh, go on with this new person in my life? And just to let you know, the, the person that comes into your life is a reflection of you. This is someone who is matching your energy and your desires, um, for some of you, it is the introduction of a twin flame, or you're discovering you've been you're involved with a twin flame. Um, but yeah, this person, this is someone who you 
feel like you have a strong connection to like you can be very open with this person this is a strong this is having a conversation um uh, it's just clicking with someone also like telepathically like you guys just get each other um very relatable um, so also like I said you know if you've been single and wondering you know when is someone going to come into your life like you thought somebody would be coming into your life by now I do feel like someone is going to come into your life uh, so pay attention because sometimes I notice that you know you can miss those signs like you don't really recognize it um, I don't know maybe it's like you're not attracted to the person or maybe um, it's just not what you're expecting so when it comes into your life you know you can almost kind of miss it um but you know i do feel like there's going to be uh an introduction of someone coming into your life and you you know you're gonna have to make uh some sort of decision in regards to love and romance um also if you're dealing with more than one person if you're dating or if you've been juggling um two people or more than one person eventually you're going to be faced with that choice. You have to make that choice. And uh, you might be having a hard time. It, it could be going to your anxieties. I'm also seeing for some of you it's because even though someone is like a, like a perfect match, there's something very different about them. It's like you're the same but polar opposites because this coming right up to the moon is basically they're kind of mirroring each other. These are two people... And these are two species. Um, they're the same but different. A dog and a wolf. They're both beasts. They're both um, four-legged. Uh, they look similar. They both have fur. You know, so it's but but they're different, or their backgrounds are completely different. So part of your fear for moving forward with someone be, could be because of uh, religious background. Um, nationality um you know anything that you feel is like so different and it's triggering anxieties and fears within you um like when this person comes around i almost feel like they are there to show you what these insecurities are um it's like something that you had you weren't aware of like you were deeply insecure about something for whatever reason this person comes into your life and you realize oh my god you know I do have a fear of this I have been afraid of that maybe you have abandonment issues maybe um you know just anything they just they awaken those fears and that's why you have those fears and anxieties but I'm also sensing that you have um, uh, a telepathic bond with this person that has caused some confusion because you don't know if these are your thoughts or the other person's you guys are both mirroring each other you don't know who is who um, what is what who's feeling what who started the feeling it's it's like you guys are mirroring each other um, also, you could be going through a lot of mood swings as well and not know why. And I still just feel like it still connects to that person that uh, you are with. Um, and then we have the King of Air or the King of Swords uh, showing up again. So for many of you, you could be dealing with uh, some air signs here. And again, this person is being very dominating. I feel too that they're trying to manipulate you or or maybe you feel intimidated by this person because this person looks very intimidating um maybe it's like you don't know what to expect um or you're feeling threatened also maybe this person is feeling threatened by you but i'm feeling a sense of intimidation or threat or maybe this person is threatening your way of life or there's something but someone is being defensive and a little cold uh, when it comes to communication and it has to do with those insecurities those fears those doubts um, yeah so I'm sensing like some sort of emotional distress that you may have to deal with
okay so we got another water sign here so we could that could be cancer scorpio again like, like i said pisces uh, or some of you could also be dealing in a having a relationship where there is an age difference um, Some of you are dealing with someone that has a crush on you or you have a crush on them This is someone having some sort of feelings that are being developed someone's developing some sort of feelings or emotions for someone um, And I feel like at some point someone is just going to Detach themselves from something. They're just going to take a chance. So Either you're going to end up taking some sort of chance or risk um, starting fresh. It's like starting a new journey, just letting go of your plans and uh, learning how to detach yourself. It's like I, I need to learn how to let go. And uh, I feel like you're walking away or giving up or taking a chance. So one of those things or all of those things could be happening to you. Um, it's just being kind of naive and just being carefree and not worrying about I say the opinion of others I feel like or worrying about something in regards to your family uh, you're switching gears or changing gears I feel uh, in regards to your traditions or you're letting them go you're like what the hell let me try something new um, so I'm seeing that some of you will be starting some sort of new journey together um, for some of you, it could be even uh, traveling and just going out of your own, out on your own, leaving a family business or leaving your home um, to follow your intuition. You're learning to trust your intuition. You're following your, you're going out on a hunch. You're going out on a limb, and you're walking unchartered territories. Uh, for some of you, this could be a free-spirited person just kind of wandering into your life. Someone who doesn't really want any strings attached. Now, this could also be you, someone that's being kind of detached from reality or just not wanting any strings attached. Uh, saying, I just want to do me. I want to be free. I'm just going to do what I want to do. Um, so, I I'm seeing almost like a rebel, too. Now, I feel like you are going to have the confidence to move forward or you're going to have support to do what it is that you want. Also, some of you might be having um, uh, like have an ego boost, like uh, someone might lift your spirits or um, you might have more than one person trying to approach you. And it just, you know, it boosts your ego. It makes you feel good. You feel important. You feel wanted. Uh, or you feel desired so uh, someone could definitely be feeding into your ego at some point uh, also this is having some sort of mutual support for those of you that are, that are in relationships um, so this is you and your partner being supportive of one another and, and encouraging each other each other um, yeah to follow your desire someone is telling you to to do whatever it is that you desire and not worry about what other people are thinking i just kind of feel like i'm hearing that conversation with somebody like saying just do you be confident in who you are because everyone is different um some of you are de developing this desire for it's like having this new desire um um a new curiosity uh, discovering something new about yourself I feel like you're discovering something new like either you have a new talent or there is someone that you're interested in or there's something new about your sexuality that you want to, to try or something I don't know but there's something in you developing I'm seeing like a lot of early development stages with you guys you guys might be going through some sort of baby steps um, in your relationships or in your own personal life like if you're single uh, you're just learning different things about you and I feel like these are baby steps like you're realizing different things about yourself different things that you didn't know that you had within you you're like I didn't know I had this in me you're discovering new talents new gifts new attractions it's just kind of a new awakening for you I feel um, I'm feeling like you also feel like you can conquer these fears too you're ready to face them you're developing some sort of courage and you're like I can take on the task sign me up you know you're just like saying I'm ready to do this um, and also with so many court cards I feel like a lot of you especially if you're single uh, you're, you have a lot of options um, you're free to move about uh, 
you know, you'll have some choices to choose from. There's a an earth sign also showing up, such as yourself. So, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And I see there's an age difference between you and an air sign or you and a water sign. Um, there's an age difference. But I feel like you're discovering uh, your self-worth and what's valuable to you. You're realizing what is most important because that's something that you have been thinking about. And I think you have been trying to pinpoint what is most valuable to you. And I feel like you're going to discover it, it, what it is. Um, and somebody, this person uh, comes into your life may have something to do with that. Um, so yeah, and then two, if you, those of you that are in relationships, and I know it sounds scary, like a, a third party interfering in your relationship, uh, for some of you, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to break up, but it could mean that, yeah, someone still enters your life or enters your partner's life, um, that's there to help them with their journey in life some type of way. It doesn't mean that they're leaving you, but they're there for a reason. All right, so I hope this has helped. Um, remember, these are general readings. If you want a private reading, you would email to matt76 at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Um, make sure you guys are liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments. Uh, I appreciate all of you that do. Even if I don't get a chance to respond to all of you, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Many blessings to you.